Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. People, tis the season. Fa la 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 la. So let's do it. Black, I'm offended. Should be sale of color. <laughs> Black Friday sale going on. Get your green gear. 25% off. Yeah, I said it. 25% off all your green gear just for you through December 2nd. Discount code Jericho. I got new designs, new merch. Check it out. Link will be in the description box. Green gear, 25% off. Clickety click clack on the link. So I saw some interesting <laughs> stories this morning. Man, first of all, the exalted one, the honorable Gavin Bang Your Wife Newsom, governor of California, he said, man. What's one more thing I can fuck up before the end of the year? Well, enter Oakland International Airport. The Oakland International Airport lost electricity last night. That's right, the power went out at a major fucking airport. And not just any day, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. But that's not important, right? Because Gavin has time to sue the administration over some fucking car emissions and they just signed into law a, a sign a bill into law that says all new homes built in California starting next year are mandated which means you must it's mandatory that they have solar panels now on the surface to these granola headed dirt fuckers out here oh solar power man that's awesome it's helping the environment it's combating climate change. You fucking idiot. Shut up. More government is bad. Especially when it's the California government mandating shit to you. I guarantee you it's not good. I guarantee you there's some backdoor... <laughs> backdoor. <laughs> probably. Some back alley deals going on. Somebody got an envelope passed to them under the table. There's some shady shit going on. I'm sorry. Automatically, I'm pessimistic if it comes from the California government. Why? Because we've been had and we've been fucked with no lube so many times. Humans evolve. When situations keep happening, you evolve to expect those situations. California is a fucking mess. It's a runny shit sandwich. So why wouldn't I think this is going to be something stupid? More government is not good. We were at the, uh, like I said, after my video yesterday, my godson and I were at a basketball game. And during the halftime, they had these Native American performers. It was Native American Appreciation Night or something at the game that night. So they had some dancers out there. It was cool, the drumming, the dancing, the costumes. And something got us on the conversation of political shit. And I told him, I said, look, I said, government, more government nine times out of ten is fucking horrible i said look at these native american people they get more government not them personally but their group they get more government assistance than any other group in america and they're doing worse than any other group in america as far as dropout rates unemployment shit like that so how is more government good how is more california government good the same fucking government that just made it legal to knowingly give somebody high five. Not the regular high five like that. I'm talking HIV. You can knowingly give somebody HIV in California and it's not a crime. What? Somebody pull this fucking thing over so I can get off. But if I slowly poison you, if I give you a couple drops of arsenic in your food and I slowly kill you over time, that's murder. But if you get a hold of some fucking dirty chili ring or some dirty clam that gives you HIV and they know it, they didn't tell you, that's all right, have a good day. 
Now, what's going to happen if somebody gets HIV from somebody who knew it and didn't tell them and they fucking kill them? I guarantee you they're not going to let them off. They're probably going to hit them with a first degree murder charge. What kind of upside down shit is that? But the Oakland International Airport lost power. What the fuck, man? Get your priorities straight. I don't give a shit about no car emissions or no lawsuit against the president. I don't give a shit about no solar panels. Put out the fires. There's another fire that just started in Santa Barbara. Put out the fires. Turn our electricity back on. You fucking empty suit asshole. Next time you're snuggling up to your demon auntie, David Lopin, a.k.a. Nancy Pelosi, a.k.a. the gatekeeper to fucking Hades, maybe you can ask her to help you put these fucking fires out in a state that has the fifth largest economy on earth. What the fuck? And that's just on a state level. Let's go national. Your girl, Rocco Cortez, your mother fox. Her wool is so polluted. Check out my fucking baby, man. <laughs> I love doing that shit. But anyway, this fucking Crayola kid is upset. She's tired of people saying that her policies are just giving away free stuff. She says, and I quote, they're public goods, not free stuff. Well, what's the difference, dummy? Public goods are funded by the public. So are these fucking harebrained schemes of yours, the Green New Deal. And all that other bullshit you come out with, all these other policies, all, all these other expensive fantasies that you have. But she was upset. She was speaking in front of a group. She's like, like, I'm tired of people like calling it like, look, if you say like, you don't sound smart. I don't want anybody in charge sounding like a 15-year-old valley girl at the mall. Like, gag me with a spin, like, fine, like, what are you talking about? Listen to yourself. She's like, she's like, um, it's like, I'm tired of people saying that it's free stuff. It's not free stuff. It's public goods. Whatever. It's too fucking expensive. She says, well, it's just like public libraries. Public libraries don't cost us trillions of dollars. And nobody wants this shit. Because sometimes if you go on my YouTube page, I'll post pictures of this or uh, from this girl's Instagram that I used to work with. She is, whatever is past extreme left, she's past that by about 10,000 miles. So she posts this picture of her at work and it's a caption of somebody told her, you talk about politics too much at work. And then she's there's a pin she's wearing, a little red star pin. And she zooms in on it, and it's a red star. Hold on, I hope you're sitting down. It's a red star with a sickle and hammer on it. <laughs> Girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just like these stupid-ass policies that this fucking empty-headed five-year-old is talking about, people... Who have, who have had socialism and communism don't want socialism and communism. It's like, it's like deer. People who don't live around deer love deer. People who have been driving to work like myself at 4.30 in the morning and a deer, you know the saying, if a tree falls, what the eagle saw it, the bear smelled it, and the deer heard it, right? So I know this stupid motherfucker heard me start my car a mile up the road. It heard my car coming, but it waits until I'm 10 feet away to run its stupid ass in front of my car. So people who live around deer fucking hate them. The people who don't like, oh my God, like I want to feed it. That's what this socialism, communism bullshit is like. People who live through it don't fucking want it. So same for these dumbass policies. We don't want them. Keep them. Fold them nicely. Shove them up your ass. Only other rich elitists who would benefit from it want it. And also extremely stupid fucking people who don't know shit. Those are the only people who want this. 
And of course, she sponsored your boy, Bernie Sanders. Billionaires! I hate fucking billionaires! <laughs> this dude is, I was reading the article, it said, 78-year-old Democratic presidential candidate. 78. Now look, I have nothing but love for my silver haired, my silver foxes and foxettes out there. We all want to grow up to be, grow to be old someday. We especially want that for our children. But that does not mean I want this old motherfucker as president. He's 78 now, he'll be 79 next year if he took office. And a year into his presidency, he'll be fucking 80. That's too old, man. He'd be the first president with an orderly. He'd be the first, uh, what's that shit called? <coughs> He'd be the first president with a fucking life alert. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. But I don't want to be helped up by a fucking billionaire. <laughs> man, you better get a piece of butterscotch candy, suck on that shit, and shut up. He said that Rocco Cortez, she would get a very, I quote, a very, very important position in the White House. <laughs> what position is that? Laying on the floor coloring? Twirling around, bling, bling, twirling a piece of gum on her finger? What the fuck is she gonna do? You couldn't power an easy bake oven if you connected it to the electrodes firing in that woman's head. That light bulb wouldn't even come on. Come on! It is free stuff. It's easy to spend other people's money. I've used this analogy before. You ever been to a uh, uh, business function where everything's free, open bar, free drinks, free food. You look around, what do you see? Half drink bottle of water, half drink can of soda, sandwich with one bite taken out of it. Because it's free. It's paid for. It's other people's shit. So you're wasteful. It's human nature. I remember being in the Navy. We were in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Man, I want to go back there. They got these fucking uh, pigs that they roast. Man, anyway. So we had uh, a day off, an activity, unless you had duty. But they had this baseball field and this big grass area. And we're barbecuing beers, sodas, whatever the fuck you wanted. So that night, me and some of my buddies went back there because, I mean, these are like bathtub size, like stainless steel uh, containers full of ice and beer. So we know damn good and well nobody drank all that shit. So we went back there that night. There must have been hundreds of beers. So we're just taking them, cracking them open, like fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin, taking a drink, tossing that shit. We were throwing cans at each other being fucking wasteful because it was all paid for by somebody else why would this be any different it is free shit you could say it's public good or yeah public goods if that makes you sleep at night in your fucking my little pony canopy bed but you're just taking our money to give it to people who don't put any money into the fucking system cancel that shit nobody wants that and you and Bernie in the wild? Holy sh... What is this, fucking Annie? <laughs> Man! You talk about a fucked up duo. Oh my... Oh my goodness. Now, we don't want that to happen. Of course, we won't let that happen. But shit. Imagine that visual. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. Let me hop in this damn rat race, people. And please don't forget. Green Gear, starting right now. 25 percent off link in the description box discount code jericho but you know how it goes i try to be done with the left but they just won't let me please subscribe hit that notification bell because every time it rings a piece of shit liberal cries utilize the paypal link and the teespring link to get your green gear i am jericho green <laughs> man i'm out